Okay, get sidetracked. Okay, so I'm gonna do a different approach to this YouTube channel. So I'm gonna try to do kind of odd stuff that I see in Macau. So this definitely qualifies. So you just have kind of a random street here. And then you have this kind of very unusual Portuguese colonial looking thing, which I'll explain can't possibly be too old because all the stuff here is all reclaimed land. And then way down there you have some, some casinos. You can see the MGM way up there. I'll put it, I'll zoom in right there. So you can see MGM and you can see um, Ascot Center, which is a kind of hotel, another casino related thing. So all this is, re is reclaimed land. So suddenly you have this little thing right here. And it's a pretty cool looking little thing, but you know, Macau has a lot of these little oddities like this. So um, I, think, I think I'm gonna start creating something called This Is Macau, put it on my Get Sidetracked um, account for YouTube and kind of show you some of this stuff. Might be a more interesting approach to things. Same note while I'm gonna show stuff. Here's, uh, this is called Lyrical Cafe. And it's just, I just wanna show you a little bit of what some of the stuff looks like in Macau. So you have this you know, chair that looks out, table, chair, another one over here. And it's a restaurant. This is the kind of food they have. So, um, mackerel, chicken, sardines, Portuguese, big Chinese, fish and chips, uh, grilled beef and green pepper. It's pretty good, actually. So they kind of got some pretty cool stuff that you can find in Macau. It's, oftentimes it's um, kind of a mix. It's um, Chinese and Portuguese, and sometimes it's a little bit mixed, like this one. This one has like even kimchi in it. Uh, this is a uh, rice, rice and kimchi. So you kind of got some cool looking stuff. And some pictures. So, okay, so I just want to show this, this right here. I'm going to zoom in. Basically, this is a park, and um, you can see all the way down. So, there's kind of these cool banyan trees that line all the way up and down. I'm going to try to do this segment called This is Macau and to see what happens if there's some interest in this. So I'll keep doing it. I'm just going to show a little segments of stuff. In this little pond right here, you sometimes see goldfish. I don't see any right now. Okay, so this is kind of cool right here. I'm going to go up a little bit closer. You can see different turf. Go up a little bit closer and see. Okay, so we're just gonna walk around this one and you can see Cow Tower, MGM, the casinos over here, boats coming in. That's kind of like where that park is at that has a set. Kind of has a nice canyon feel to it. It's actually like what could be a beach right there, but it's not. But it'd be way too dirty. But I, mean, I bet if they actually clean that, it could be something interesting. Zoom all the way in. It actually, this has a pretty good zoom on this camera. I just bought it. We're gonna come back out. That's a pretty dirty beach and there's some mud. It looks like somebody's walks across. Somebody has walked across. There there's footprints everywhere. Alright. Okay, so 
we're kind of in a maze of a park right here. Bus. Yeah, it's kind of nice about Macau. You got all these little plazas here. Um, this is actually a casino right over there, Pharaoh's Casino. There's a casino over there. So um, what I'm going to try to do is walk through this. So this little thing is um, this is actually a little park that's enclosed by gates. It's actually kind of hard to get to, but when you're in here, it's kind of cool because we have these kind of looking red gate kind of stuff, and all around we have the park. So basically on this vlog, what I'm going to be trying to do is um, I'm trying to find out something that's appealing and interesting to viewers on YouTube. So I think what I might do is this kind of, um, what's this? I might just, um, oh these are swivel chairs. Oh no they're not, that's permanently like that. It's kind of funny. That one's permanently like that. Oh this one swivels. You can actually move it, and this one is stationarily stuck like that. Anyway, I think on this station I'm going to try to um, do like if this is Macau and see what we can find. And it might be more interesting maybe for viewers. I think I'm kind of showing a lot of pictures right now on YouTube, different places, but, um, but I think if one person's interested in Japan and I only have so much content, you know, because those are, um, I lived in Japan for six years and a bunch of other places as well. But if I'm not living there, then I don't really have any content on a day to day basis. Where here I would in Macau. So I think this is maybe a chance for people to see Macau who might not see it very well otherwise. This is kind of a cool looking statue right here. Kind of scroll, but it's not labeled in English, so I don't really, really know what it is. But it's a pretty cool looking guy, though. So, actually, I'm just going to kind of view some of this right here. So, yeah, basically, Macau, I've been in Macau for about six years, so I'm going to try to show different aspects of it. This right here is kind of a park, and so there's um casino. There's that little Chinese guy over there is the uh, MGM. You can see up through there. So okay. Just gonna keep walking, and I think we're gonna try to see what we can find today. Definitely going to show this. This is actually the walkway how people get across the street here. So all the tourists come over this way from these casinos, come in, and they have to walk down this little road. And then they have to wait for the crosswalk and run across. So there's no efficient way. So this particular street is always kind of a mess. Actually, this is also where the Grand Prix was the other day. So you can kind of see some of the tire tracks maybe. And I'm going to try to cut across here. I should be over there, but because everything is so disorganized, it's easy to go across like this. And you still have the uh, Grand Prix stands up there too. And this stuff is pretty interesting because um, these are all like gold shops. So basically they sell all your gold shops in here and jewelry. And it just kind of rolls and rolls in this area. So there's some gold shops over there. Buddhas, all kinds of stuff. Basically, it's kind of a place where I think usually people just assume it's probably money laundering, which is probably correct. You can see all this kind of cool looking stuff here. Horses. There's golden Buddhas. These are all gold. So you can buy all these. So I guess it's basically a good place to uh, do your 
money laundering. Uh, just gonna kind of walk in here a little bit. We got all the. I don't know what all these places are. A lot of these, this area caters to the mainland tourists, so basically it has a lot of um, stuff that mainland tourists like, like shoes like this and, um, you know, whatever. And they're always kind of hanging around in here too. Anyways, it's going to go around to this middle park. this way so there's casinos over here and I'm gonna turn this off and go off somewhere else. Okay it's so Macau overpass is probably quite loud so I'm trying not to use the GoPro so much because it seems like the audio is so so poor and I don't seem to quite get the settings right I can't get I can't zoom in like this one I can zoom in like that and I can look at you know the trees or whatever I want to do. But anyways this is the overpass so I'm gonna just try to show different stuff about Macau you know, people, places, what it looks like, the trees, the buildings, things like that. And go with the other pass. There you go. I'll show you this is a school. So basically Chinese, Portuguese, fairly typical, almost everything has Chinese and Portuguese here, so um Actually, I guess Puerto, I don't know. Well, anyway, it's Escola School. So, Portuguese, Chinese, Chinese school, but it's also in Portuguese at the time. We got some artists here. I think they're doing some artwork there. That's actually a Portuguese guy. So, anyways, Once Upon a Time works by Cheng Lao, and it's the art garden, so it's like they're also creating some kind of cool stuff in there. We can see what's going on in there. Okay, I guess that's the venue. There are a lot of right there. Which looks pretty cool. Okay. We're going to continue. That's that little venue in there. So those guys are working in here. And then as soon as you come out, you have this uh, graffiti. This graffiti is kind of cool. I just also want to comment, it's kind of cool in Macau that there's people doing a lot of construction back here. Just walk along this. But I like the fact there's, you know, Macanese people, uh, sorry, Portuguese people and Macanese people are still here in Macau. So that's a nice element. You know, a lot of places are, you know, a lot of the uh, people that, um, had a history of a certain region, you know, like Portugal here for 700 years, you know, they're still here. Where a lot of other places, they're gone. So, it's like, so we're actually gonna follow this all the way up to that space up there. So we're just gonna walk along here. And there's actually an outdoor elevator that goes up there to that spot. Yeah, one of the things I like about Macau is, um, you know, if I go to Malacca or whatever, that also has a Portuguese influence, but very few Portuguese people that you'll see. Okay, so we're just gonna walk along this road right here. And this, actually a long time ago, this is all reclaimed land where I'm standing right now. And this other side is, um, it's basically what the water would have went against a long time ago. Then they reclaimed all this land. So this would have been right up against the ocean a long time ago and that up building up there would have overlooked all of this. So it's kind of interesting. So okay, I'm gonna shut off the camera and then in a few minutes I'm gonna be up on top okay, somewhere. So if you tuned in a little while ago, I'm basically where the elevator's at now. So I just followed this path right here. And a lot of people have followed this path. So you can see people coming up right now. And what I'm gonna be doing is taking an outdoor elevator that goes all the way up to the top. And imagine if you live in these buildings, you can just go all the way up like that. So actually this is um, kind of that main road where I was at recently. We're gonna take this elevator up. That's the elevator. Okay, here we go. That's the elevator right there. So you can see that? And it kind of comes up to this cool spot. 
And actually, just a couple of days ago, the uh, Grand Prix was right here. Yeah, amazing. They still have the guardrail left for the Grand Prix. And this building is one of my favorite buildings in Macau. Okay, so that's where the Grand Prix was at just recently. Now it's for the scooters. Just had a Grand Prix a couple days ago, so. Actually, the water used to also come up to this spot too. I'm just gonna show this building right here. It's kind of cool. It's closed, but there's a lot of kind of cool stuff in this area. This is called Taipa. I always thought a house like this would be kind of cool. And down there, you got some tourists, and they're always down right down there by that. Where that goes like that. And they're always taking pictures. So they're all gonna kind of jockey for space to try to pose in some of those pictures down there. It's usually what happens, anyways. So if you go down there, you're trying to get a picture, but there's people that'll be getting all lined up for it. Alright, so this is Get Sidetracked. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel.